I want to bring in Waleed Ferris now, Fox News National Security and Foreign Affairs Analyst. Uh, Waleed joins us now on the phone. Waleed, thank you for taking the time. This is a big, big day uh, for the, uh, the Middle East. The agreement, it will be known as the president just announced as the Abraham Accord, uh, known as the father of all three great faiths they announced, symbolizing the unity of Muslims, Christians and Jews. So how will those benefit um, here living in the United States? Julie, this is a historic day of epic proportion, and I'll explain why. And that's a major victory for U.S. foreign policy and obviously mm -hmm. for, the, uh, for the president in, in this case. We're talking about the UAE, which was not occupied uh, as, a, as a launching pad to do the peace agreement as for Egypt or for Jordan or for the PLO before. So this peace agreement is going to create an alliance between two allies. The UAE has been our ally for decades. We have a presence there. We have a strategic cooperation with them. And the Israelis are a historic, of course, ally to the United States. When you put both of them together in the equation, you're going to get the following. Number one, you're going to have an activation of the peace between Israelis and Palestinians. It doesn't matter at this point in time if this is not going to yield immediate these processes between Israelis and Palestinians, but the UAE, as a major player in the Gulf, is going to be a driving force on the economic, diplomatic, political level. There is a large Palestinian community that actually lives in the UAE and profits from the UAE. All of that is going to be very helpful. And as it was said earlier, I mean, this... the big strategic alliance between UAE and Israel is going to change the, the, the game in the Middle East with regard to those bad actors, including the Iranian regime on the one hand, but also all other jihadists. I'm just going to remind our viewers that Abu Dhabi or the UAE was the first Arab country to announce the longest list of terrorist organizations, uh, the longest one after the United States in 2014. So all the dividends now are going to come, in addition, obviously, to the joint economic ventures. The UAE is very advanced. Even on technological mm -hmm. grounds, the UAE has launched, you know, a, uh, you know, their own cosmonauts into space just a few weeks ago. So the cooperation between Israel, right. the UAE, and the United States is going to be in a definitely different place. I'm and last, talk... Julie, the UAE will be first. I don't think it's going to be the last one to engage in that route. Okay. All right. I want to talk about the nightmare. This is uh, Iran's worst nightmare. That's what they just said. I want to talk about that in a second. But I want to talk about how this announcement makes the UAE the first Gulf Arab state to uh, to do so and only the third Arab nation to have active diplomatic ties to Israel. The agreement also stops further Israeli annexation of Palestinian authorities and territories. Could this be the, the beginning, uh, finally, of peace in the Middle East between Israelis and the Palestinians? Let me begin by that last point, Joe. It's very important. Yes. Probably. We will know soon that the UAE has actually asked the United States and Israel that they need something that they can offer to the Palestinians. So freezing some of the action that Israel was, you know, undertaking in the West Bank as a demand from the UAE is going to yield results in terms of there will be a Palestinian leadership that's going to engage with the UAE. And the UAE will play the role that we expected, obviously, from Egypt and Jordan, but because of domestic situation in these mm -hmm. countries, it did not happen. So that's a plus for a peace process between Palestinians and Israelis, which is going to profit from this. And as you just mentioned earlier, the UAE may be also bringing to the table, after they sign their own peace treaty, their neighbors. Who knows? The Saudis are there. The Bahainis have been speaking with the Israelis anyway. So this is the beginning of a new process, not just the UAE. And I repeat, Iran's worst nightmare. Uh, Waleed Ferris, thank you very much for talking to us.